What is up, my dudes? Hope you had a good week. I had a very slow week, and it felt like it took forever. Anyways, some of you might follow me on Snapchat and notice that I might be going to a different place today. And I chose the worst day to do this on. It's raining outside, and the place that I'm going to, I think, is already kind of flooded a little bit so what this place is this place is an abandoned carbonization factory and that guy just stared at me yep anyways this place is an abandoned carbonization factory it is from what I read one of the first ones in the southern hemisphere of this kind because it's a German design and all this stuff yeah <laughs> I'm gonna briefly go over what this carbonization factory place thing is there's a whole lot of stuff on the internet about it maybe like four websites that show what it is and what's happened to it it's actually a pretty significant place so I'm gonna read off my phone because I have not memorized this at all so this is the first of its kind in the southern hemisphere the plant was constructed in the late 1930s so it's pretty old it was used to convert unusable low quality coal from the nearby rotowaru coal mines i don't know how to say that but there's literally a mine right next to me and that used to be owned by solid energy and now i can see it's owned by the stevenson company and I hope they don't tow my car or shit because I'm just parked in a on the side of the road. Anyways, so this thing, <laughs> this carbonization factory turned unusable coal into a thing called carbon briquettes. Um, I think what that is, it's like you can use these little brick things of coal to heat your home in a fireplace. So that's pretty much what that is I'm pretty sure if I'm not yeah right so at some point um, the waste from the plant was actually discharged directly into a nearby stream and that caused heavy pollution and I know a lot of the residents really hated that because they used that stream to fish for eels and stuff stuff which you eat and that shit's no good if it's polluted and yeah so they complained a lot about that Waikato Carbonization Limited trialed a waste incineration program but the output of the plant exceeded the capacity of the burners so the excess was pumped into waste pools up to up until the plant's closure of uh, 1985 and that's when a major fire caused a retort to explode. I think in that place that I might be, I'm gonna try, oh yeah, I'm gonna try get in there, but um, I think you can get up into the room where the fire actually started. I've seen a video of one group of guys that did it. They managed to get into it. It looked a bit sketchy because uh, everything's kind of rusted, rusting away and rotting, just standing there. But uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna see if I can get in, hopefully. And hopefully it doesn't get any worse out here because it's been raining all day. We had thunderstorms last night. I've got hay fever too, which doesn't help because I'm out in the middle of nowhere where there's probably all this pollen everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, let's get to it, shall we? The story you are about to hear is true. Only the names have been changed. Only the names have been changed. Only 
Made it, made it to this abandoned place. Fuck, it was a, fuck, it was a mission to get here to be honest. I'm actually knackered. I could probably fall asleep right now. I think I might try and make it to the top without falling through of course. But just check this out man. Look at all that. To be honest, this decay makes it hard to believe that it's actually a pretty significant structure in the southern hemisphere. I can't believe it, to be honest, and it's just sitting here rotting away and no one knows about it. So I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like and try imagine what it used to look like. So let's get up there, right? Well guys, whew, that was a bit of a trick. I was on edge the whole time because I didn't want to fall through. But I made it to the top and this is the kind of view I get. Let's see if we can uh, adjust that. Damn. Not bad, right? Not bad. Just that back. So yeah. Actually, right here is, so it's the carbonization plant and actually right over there is where there used to be a settlement and because of that giant company and they made a huge mine there they had to move all of the residents that way <laughs> a couple of kilometers that way and they were not happy about that because now they had to drive a lot further to this plant but of course they don't need the plant anymore because it got shut down because of that fire that got caught in that one room. 
So yeah, now this place is dead and rotting away and no one knows about it when it's actually quite a significant place. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put um, a couple of links down below to some information pages about it. I think it's quite fascinating. So sorry for all those other viewers I have that would not find this interesting, but anyone who does find it interesting, go for it. So yeah, let's maybe do, show you around a bit, eh? The story you're about to hear is true. Only the names have been changed. Only the names have been changed. Hey look, there's a fan. Still going in there. It's going Here. hard. Only the names have been changed. I noticed that these these things here, um, they actually used to have, I think, copper in them, and that's why all these have been ripped up and stolen, because copper equals money. I'm glad to be back. I felt like I just ran a marathon. It's so hard to freaking trek through all that bush, even though it's not that far. Didn't wear gloves, got cut on some cutty grass because cutty grass cuts. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little piece of education, you know? Um, we need to know more about this the kind of stuff. What I want to do is actually maybe go with a group of people so then if one of you's in trouble, someone can help you, because if you're stuck there, you're pretty fucked. So you have to be very careful if you're going on your own, and there's no signal. You can't get phone reception in there unless you're on the second floor of the carbonization place, but that's if you're lucky. <laughs> so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that little video, and peace out. Enjoy the rest of your day. This grass is not fun.